Through a featherweight contender, Oscar Valdez will be fighting on June 23rd on the undercard of Terence Crawford versus Victor Postal at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Talk to us about your opponent, Martias Rueda, because he's 26 and 0 with 23 knockouts. I don't know if the record is fabricated or is he a real power puncher. You know, right now I'm very concentrated on Martias Rueda. I know. Uh, to be honest, I didn't know who, who he was, so they mentioned his name that I was going to fight him. You know, started looking up and I'm trying to study him. And I said, wow, this guy's a, he's pretty good. You know, he has that he has that knockout power. You know, he depends on that punch. And uh, just watching his videos, just, you can tell he has that, he has that punch. Uh, just one shot brings him down to, uh, to, to the floor. So, you know, i got to be very, very cautious with this fighter. You know? For all the fights, I train very hard. But this fight, um, being it might be for a world title, uh, I got to work extra hard. You know? Just got to be a smarter fighter in there. Um, just maintaining my distance and working on that technique to, to be the better fighter. Now you are a two-time Olympian. You show the dedication. You show the fact that you worked hard because you beat a former IBF featherweight champion and Evgeny Gradovich, also known as the Mexican Russian. You defeated him inside four rounds. Was that by far your best performance? I think it would just the, just for the fact that he was a world champion, um, former world champion. Um, to be honest, I expect a lot more. Not taking nothing away from. Him. Just, I just trained very hard for that fight. Like I do, like I said, I work very hard for all the fighters. But just, I think it was his perfect style. You know, him coming forward, it, it, I try to be the smarter fighter, uh, counter punching him, making him uh, catching up on his mistakes. So yeah, I think that was my, my best performance to this day. But um, every fight is more important than my last one. You know, Matias Reyes um, is going to be way tougher than Granovich, and then whoever's next is going to be tougher than Matias Reyes. But not looking, not, not looking above, um, not overlooking Matias. He's a good fighter, and uh, I'm training very hard for him. So uh, what can I say? I'm just going to work hard and try to do my best to get that win, do whatever is possible. You know what's interesting about this fight? It could just be another fight, but if Lomachenko decides to vacate the featherweight title, the WBO featherweight title, and remain champion, and assuming he beats Rocky Martinez, this could be a title fight. Well, if it's for a title or not, I gotta work very hard. You know, I gotta be ready for Matias Rakin. He's not gonna be an easy opponent. Um, I know, my, I, know I, got, I got the faith in me that I can win, but I, I don't, I'm not getting ahead of myself. Uh, I want to stay concentrated as much as possible. And um, if it's for a world title, obviously it's going to be way more better for me. Because you know, that's my dream ever since, I was nine year, ever since I was nine years old. That was my dream to become a world champion. But if it's not, it doesn't matter. My deal is a tough fighter. I'm going to do my best to win. But you know, anything can happen right now. I'm just waiting for the big news. For, for that, I'm just going to keep on training hard. For some of our UK viewers out there, walk us through your style. What is your style like? What do you bring to the plate? Well, I think my style, uh, one of the good things that the amateur background left me, that I can do a lot of styles. You know, I fought the best as an amateur. I fought guys that come forward, fighters that just run, fighters that is awkward styles. So that kind of helped me now as a professional. I, I can bring to the table a lot of different styles. I can, I can box. One of my best things, I, I like to brawl. I don't know, it's just there's something about that. I've seen that. Me getting hit and me answering back. I don't know if it's in the blood or whatever it is. Or just you got to be a little bit crazy. I don't know what it is. But I like that. I like brawling. I like getting hit something. And I, me answering two times more than what he landed. But if it's necessary, I can box too. And I can also make the fight. Um, uh, I can brawl it out. I can do whatever. Whatever the, my opponent does, um, I switch it up. Trust me, I weigh more than you, and I still wouldn't want to get in a fight. You're just, you're a scary dude. <laughs> not not going to happen. Uh, any final words out there for your fans? Um, I want to thank everyone, everyone, uh, all my fans uh, there's, for all the support. You know, um, you know, it's very common being in a boxer and getting all that negativity from a lot of people out there. And to be honest with me, I'm grateful because I, I hardly see that. You know, I see a lot of people supporting me all through UK, all through Mexico, all here from the United States. And I'm just waiting on that guy to put that bad comment, but you know, I don't get that. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. I'm just gonna keep on doing my best, keep on winning. And you know, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna give my best to bring that world title to, to my country. And you know, like I said, thank you for everyone for the support. Thank you, Oscar. Always a pleasure, my man. Thank you.